Welcome to Sports Tracks. Before we get into today's video, if you haven't already, we do appreciate it if you would like the video and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on our interesting and latest sports videos. Now, let's get right into it. Jelly and Fraser Price, the world lead at 1077 and a clear winner in the fastest time of the semi-finals. There is the lineup. Gardner, Anderson, Fraser Price, Jetta, Ahore, Okagbare, Stewart, and Freeman. Nearly all products of the American collegiate system. With four Americans, two Jamaicans, one for the Ivory Coast and one for Nigeria. And all those non-Americans have been in American colleges, and most of them have won American collegiate titles powerhouse of sprinting the United States of America but the title may well go to Jamaica there is some drum music playing out in the stadium as we build the tension towards this final event as I say the hammer is also going on but it's the women's 100 meters that will be the focus of attention for the next few minutes In lane two, we have English Gardner for the United States of America, American collegiate champion the last two years for the University of Oregon, a brilliant starter. We saw that particularly in our heat yesterday. Then the second American in the lineup, Alex Anderson, another American collegiate champion, in her case, for the University of Texas, a best of 10.91 for Anderson. Then the favorite, the double Olympic champion, the ever smiling Shelley Ann Price of Jamaica, personal best of 1070, fourth fastest of all time in the women's 100 meters. The champion from 2009, just like Usain Bolt, bidding to regain her title. Carmelita Jetta, we worried what sort of form she was in, but she looked brilliant in the semi-final, except she got a low, slow start, but she came through in splendid style. The defending champion. Then we have Muriel Ahore from the Ivory Coast. Set a national record this year at 10.91. She's in the form of her life this season. A world indoor silver medalist last year and an Olympic finalist. Blessing Okogbari already with the long jump silver medal to her credit. She was fifth in 2011. She's better now. She's twice smashed the African record in the Diamond League meeting in London down to 10.79. The second Jamaican in the lineup, one of the most experienced sprinters in this lineup. She was the silver medalist back in Beijing in 2008. Now in her fourth World Championship final, it's Karen Stewart for Jamaica. And the field competed by the fourth American, Octavius Freeman, from the University of Central Florida in the United States of America. At 21, the joint youngest in the field, along with English Gardner. So the two American 21-year-olds on either side of this lineup in lanes two and nine. Shelly Ann Fraser Price has looked the favorite in lane four, or is Carmelita back to the form which took her to the title in 2011? The 2011 winner, Jetta, up against the 2009 winner, Fraser Price. Can Okokbare reduce produce the form again that she's been showing all season in brilliant sprint fashion? The final, the women's 100 meters. Gardner, Anderson, Fraser Price, Jetta, Ahore, Okekbare, Stewart, and Freeman. Fraser Price in four, Jetta in five, then Ahore, then Okekbare. Oh, Gardner's off brilliantly, the rest of all. But look at Shelly and Fraser Price now coming through the field. Still Gardner in second place. And it's all over about. It's Shelly and Fraser Price. It's very close for second. Oh, Ahore dipping very well at the line there. But 10.72 for Shelly and Fraser Price. A very, very clear win. Of course, she was the favorite. But she was away so well, just behind Gardner. And then streaming away from the field. A slight headwind. Ahori and Jetta, I think, have taken the other medals, but it was a very, very clear victory. You don't get those quite so often in women's sprinting, but Fraser Price 
what a time too. It's officially 10.71, easily the fastest in the world, and only a hundredth of a second outside her personal best. Ahori, 10.93, Jetta coming back to form at 10.94. Well, you have to admire this woman. She is the mistress of peaking at the right time. Jetta, I think, should be pleased with the bronze because she has had a tough season. But Fraser Price, the double Olympic champion, is the world champion. And the Jamaican party will continue in earnest tonight, just as it did yesterday for Usain Bolt. She's made it a male-female double once again. The far start of Shelly Ann Fraser Price, and you know what? It wasn't her best start, but her pickup was absolutely outstanding. Okabare was out of it. Look at Ahore, two outside of Shelly Ann Fraser Price, dipping for the silver, and Carmelita Jetta throws herself at the line for the bronze. Five women under 11 seconds. Shelly Ann Fraser Price, a world lead of 10.71 seconds. She was imperious in her semi final. She really did cement herself as the favorite and she did not fail to deliver.